A dodecagon is inscribed in a circle with the area 400 pi. What is the area of the space inside the circle but not inside the dodecagon? Okay, so that means we're looking for the area of all of these little spaces here. Okay, so that means I'm going to need to find the area of the dodecagon. Let's call it dodeca. And I'm going to need to subtract that from the... Oh, I need to do it the other way around. Um, I need to subtract that from the area of the circle. So I do area of the circle, and I want to subtract the area of the dodeca. Okay. All right, the area of the circle, that's easy, that's 400 pi. It's the area of the dodecagon that's going to cause us a little bit more trouble. So um, I know the area of the circle, and, and that's going to be useful because that's going to help me figure out the radius of my circle. So if the area is pi r squared, then the radius of our circle is equal to 20. Okay. And that's going to help me because that's going to give me this length, distance from my uh, one of my vertices of my dodecagon to the center since it is inscribed. Um, and that's going to help me to work with this triangle right here. Now this triangle right here, if I remember, this is a dodecagon. A dodecagon is a 12-sided figure. So if the angles around a circle equal 360 uh, degrees, and there are going to be 12 of them because there are 12 sides of my figure, that means each of these interior angles here is going to be 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees here. Uh, that's going to wind up being incredibly useful because if I can find this height, right here. That's my apothem. And if I can find this distance there, that's my base, which will help me to find the perimeter. 12 of my bases will equal my perimeter. So that's my plan. Let's see if we can figure out how to do this. All right. I only need half of this triangle here because the apothem is going to make a right angle with the base. So let's get a bigger version of that triangle down here. Okay. So I've got my radius drawn there as the hypotenuse of my figure, and that's 20. Remember, our radius is 20. It's our length right there. This is our apothem, and this is our base divided by 2. For now, I'm just going to call it x. I don't want to call it b because it's only half of our base. Um, so we're going to try and figure out what x is. And then let's remember that this is an isosceles triangle that's been cut by its height. So that means that the angle has been bisected. That's a 15 degree angle. All right, so uh, I've got a right triangle. I've got an angle measurement. I've got a hypotenuse. Let's get our trig on. Uh, so I can figure out what half of my base is, x is, if I want to do uh, the sine of 15 degrees, not 20, 15 degrees is going to be equal to x, which is half of our base, divided by 20. So 20 times the sine of 15 will equal that length there. Okay. All right, I can figure out what A is by using cosine instead. So cosine of 15, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's going to be A over 20. Or 20 times cosine of 15 is equal to A. Right. So here I know my apothem's length right there. Here I know half of my base, uh, so let's go ahead and get the full base. Let's multiply it by 2. So I've got 40 times the sine of 15 degrees. Uh, and then I also need this to actually be the perimeter if I want to use my area formula for a regular polygon. So there are 12 sides in this shape. So let's make that 12 times 40 or uh, 480 times sine of 15. All right, my area formula is area is equal to one half the apothem times the perimeter. Well, here's my apothem. So area is equal to, switch here, area is equal to one half times 20 times cosine 15 times my perimeter, which is right here, 480 sine 15. Okay. Uh, let's just do a little bit of simplifying. 1 half times 20 
uh, that's equal to 10, and 10 times 480, that's 4,080. So my area is equal to 4,000, uh, sorry, 4,800 cosine 15 times sine 15. Okay. Uh, multiply those together in order to get the area of my figure. Notice that I waited until now to do cosine and sine of 15 so that I don't have to do any rounding. And so now I get my full answer and uh, the, believe it or not, 1200. That's 1200. Cosine of 15 times sine of 15 is equal to 0.25. Go ahead, go try it out. That's what it equals. Impressive, I know. So the area of my dodecagon is 1,200, and, and that's, uh, that's pretty much going to do this problem for me because I already remember what my plan was. I wrote it down up here. It's the area of the circle, 400 pi, minus the area of the dodecagon, uh, which is 1,200. And uh, I tend to prefer answers to be in terms of pi, so I would take that. Um, but if you were so inclined to figure out exactly what this actually equals, 400 pi minus 1200 is equal to 56.637 approximately, um, that being a rounded answer. Um, so we can see that uh, in the grand scheme of things, not that much uh, space is between the dodecagon and the circle. And that's understandable because the more sides we get in that figure that's inside the circle, the less space is going to be left between that figure and the circle. And so you can imagine how small that area would get if the figure was a 20-sided or 30-sided or say a 100-sided figure. Um, so we found the area of the space inside the circle that is not in the dodecagon. It is 400 pi minus.